Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry, my, my stream got cut off somehow. My stream ended, I don't know why. I don't know why the stream ended. We, we should be good. I have a lot of data. I have a lot of battery power. It might have just been, um, it might have been, uh, what do you call it? Uh, just this building interference. I am so sorry guys, I am so sorry. We're, we're now in part two of the stream. Anybody there? Yeah, hey Caitlin, hey Caitlin, welcome back. Yeah, uh, if, yo, what's up Jason? Um, if, if there's a, the other stream is still up, can you guys type in that other stream and tell them there's a new stream? I don't know what happened. We, we got disconnected for some, for some stupid reason we got disconnected. I'm very, very sorry guys. Uh, if you're watching the recorded version of this and you're like, what is what is going on? There was a stream just now happening before this. For some reason, we got disconnected. So, I don't know. Maybe, did we lose all the viewers? I think uh, I got too close to a building and then the signal got like completely cut off. Uh, I'm very sorry. Uh, welcome back, guys. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, Mimi, how are you? Oh, Jason, you didn't know? Oh, I, I posted it on social media and uh, on the YouTube community page. We, we've been streaming for over an hour and a half already, but it, it ended and then first, you know, it got disconnected and now we just reconnected. I am so sorry. Yeah, I lost chat on the old one. Yeah, it's okay. Hopefully uh, the people over there come over to this one. If, if, if someone wants to like go into that one and tell people like, hey, there's a, there's a new stream up, that's a very unfortunate thing that just happened. Yeah, that, that is annoying. Really, really annoying. Um, let, me, let me turn this camera around. Yeah, so we are uh, currently in a Omotesando area near Harajuku. This is kind of a like very trendy neighborhood, kind of expensive and stuff. It died right after you talked about the donut lights. Oh, I see. Thank you for that. Uh, I don't know. 4G hotspot? I'm streaming from my phone, so I can't really create a hotspot because it, it is using the phone data. The Nightbot, that's a, it's an automated chat like thing that uh, I attach to my stream to um, announce like information and stuff about different things, my social media links or something like that. They won't let you comment yet. We are back. We are back, guys. Ah, oh, man, that sucks. I hate when that kind of stuff happens. So... So the thing is, is with, uh, with streaming, with live streaming, it's, um, you never know what's going to happen, especially with, uh, you know, signal interference and things like that. Uh, the stream might get cut off or blocked or buffer. Uh, it's really hard to predict those things. So it's not a perfect science. Um, so I do apologize for that disconnect. But hopefully the people from the first stream come over because what, we had like 150 people watching Hopefully they come back to this one. <laughs> it's okay. We'll 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 keep going for the full three hours. Yeah, Jason, I uh, I announced it on uh, social media and Discord and everything. Um, yeah, I have plans tomorrow, so today is my stream day, and I I announced that uh, two days. That, but um, yeah. back up to 46 yeah hopefully uh hopefully we get the viewer count back up but anyways i, I appreciate that uh, a lot of you guys are still hanging out yeah i, I changed the the i added part two to the label uh the title of this video because uh it's the continuation the continuing walk so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna head down into Shibuya, but I'm trying to get over. Uh, I'm heading 
to a main street. Okay, maybe... All right, I know what to do. Uh, ben Benny says, I just saw your notification. Wow. <laughs> What's up, Ben Benny? We were streaming for over an hour and a half, and then we got disconnected. So this is actually the second part, the second stream today. And it's funny how this one is now giving the notifications. There's some like really dolled up girls here. So Omote Sando, yeah, it definitely has uh, like very fashionable people, very fashionable stores and stuff like that here. It's very expensive to live or shop in this area. Yeah, we're like, yeah, Hachiko, we're coming, we're coming for Hachiko. Yeah, it's bougie. Omote Sando is super bougie. But yeah, uh, hopefully we can get the, the same number of viewers and likes again on this second part two of the stream and uh yeah we're gonna we're gonna finish this strong by by visiting Hachiko's statue if you're watching the recorded version of this and it says part two and you're like what are you talking about Hachiko uh in the first section of the stream that got disconnected we went to Aoyama Cemetery and we visited the famous Hachiko grave the grave of the famous dog Hachiko who waited nine years at Shibuya Station for its owner to return. Uh, after he died, the dog just was waiting and waiting and waiting. And then, so yeah, we, we visited their, uh, the dog's grave, left the dog a, a bottle of tea. And now we're gonna go to Shibuya and visit uh, Hachiko's statue. Yeah, I don't know. when. Because of that disconnect, I'm, I'm pretty sure that uh, we, we lost a, a lot of viewers. They're probably not going to come back to this stream. And that happens. It happens. Um, I've had disconnects before when I used to stream in Korea. And that's just the usual case. Like, after the stream drops and then I reconnect and then maybe 50 or 60% come back and that's it. So, it is what it is. Uh, hey Corey, the thousand-year-old thousand-year-old temple. Did you get that in video? Uh, yeah. If if you go to my channel, I have several videos, uh, several live. I have two live streams there. I went there last week, and then uh, I filmed another stream like last year in 2020, and then I made a Sensoji, uh, sorry, a Sanja Festival video from 2019. So there's three videos in total: Sanja Festival. And then Sensoji, uh, two different streams. One in 2020, one last week. Seventy-four watching, thirty-three likes so far. All right, We're working, working our way, working our way. So, uh, one second, I gotta plug in my phone here. So it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. It's... I don't know what time it is. What time is it? It's 12.53, Wednesday afternoon. You can see there's just... Uh, there's people. Not too many people, but there are some people. And... Uh, yeah. Uh, I was watching your Don Quixote video and I have to know where did you get your Dragon Ball flat cap from? Uh, oh, the, the, the hat that I used to wear a long time ago? That, uh, someone gave that to me as a gift. Um, one of my subscribers, when I lived in Korea, uh, gifted me with a bunch of stuff. And that Dragon Ball hat was one of them. What do you miss the most when you left uh, Hanoi? Uh, the food. The people are very nice, but I, I really, really miss the Vietnamese street food. Let's go this way. 
Uber on bikes. Yeah, they have they have a lot of Uber bike delivery, bicycle delivery. Uh, sometimes you see people on mopeds, but yeah, bicycles like the most common in um, in a uh, in Tokyo. Kuro Neko transport. Alright. Uh, morning, Kathy Simmons. How are you? So this is, uh, what did you call it? Like Cat Street or something like that? I forgot. But a lot of uh, kind of trendy shops here. You saw red bikes with a card reader on them and they reminded you of uh, Boris bikes in London. Oh yeah, they do have some city rental bikes. You can kind of pick them up anywhere and drop them off anywhere. Looks like a giant strip mall. It kind of is. How's the weather? Uh, it's, it's warm. It's getting warmer. It was pretty cold this morning. But yeah, now it's getting to the point that I had to take off my scarf and I opened up my jacket now. Uh, Prima, first time catching the live stream. Hey, welcome, welcome. So, yeah, let me get into the shade. Yeah, so you can see here Oakley, Adidas. Uh, just kind of a trendy shopping area. But we're gonna, um, I'm trying to stay away from like such trendy spots. Try to get more to the like back alleys. Uh, Trevi, oh, that was your your first video of mine was my rooftop apartment video from Vietnam. Yeah, I kind of miss that place. Like I miss it, but I don't miss it. You know what I mean? Like it was a nice place to chill. Uh, what is down this way? Uh, Marco Garcia in the house. How are you, sir? A lot of uh, hip, hip youth around here. People like cafe hopping and wearing like nice clothes and everybody's got an Instagram account. Um, <laughs> that's the kind of people that you see around here. Instagrammers. Uh, hopefully we don't disconnect again. That would suck. Oh my god, look, PBR. There's a Paps Blue Ribbon sign on the side of this uh, barber shop. It's kind of cool. Yeah, PBR. Paps Blue Ribbon. You saw the apartment also? Yeah, it was very nice. It was cheap, $300 a month. All utilities included. It was furnished. Private rooftop. What is this place? The Great Great Burger, Tokyo, Japan. It's a burger shop. PBR is so bad. Now oh, that's that is the drink of the gods, my friend. I love PBR. <laughs> I used to drink PBR a lot. Yeah, good old PBR. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, like fashion, fashion shoots and stuff happening on these side streets back here. Yeah, nice. I'm glad that there's other people that enjoy PBR. I know PBR gets shit on by a lot of people, but I, I like it. I used to buy it by the case in when I lived in the states. 
All the restaurants are still closed for dine-in in Toronto. Well, that's good. Not in Japan. Here's a beef taco taco rice uh, micro bus. PBR's bathroom breaks. I mean, that's that's all beer. <laughs> all beer is uh, bathroom break beer. Yeah, V Dub. Yeah, so we're kind of in this area between uh, Harajuku, which is uh, right here. This is all Harajuku, and then uh, we're heading to uh, to Shibuya. Right now, let's go to Shibuya. How many how many viewers do we have now? Because oh oh oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened to my stabilizer? One second. Okay, there we go. Whoa, weird. I think my finger accidentally hit the power button. Ninety-four. Okay, good. Yeah, I'm glad that we're back up to like the hundred something, like in that range. But we gotta get the likes up too, because we had we had like 120 likes or something with 150 viewers. Let's try to get close to that again. So hit that like button, guys. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, definitely subscribe. So, uh, wow, someone's cars got a bunch of smoke. It smells like exhaust right now. It's gross. Shibuya has a wonderful Alice in Wonderland store. Really? I did not know that. I usually never come down here, ever. I want to say one of the last times I came here was October 2019 on Halloween. That was like, I think the last time that I came to this area. Go into Tower Records? Uh, Julio, I would, I would love to, but uh, filming inside of stores is probably not allowed and uh, the stream would buffer inside of a building, unfortunately. Are you, uh, are you still currently in Shibuya? Well, I was never in Shibuya yet, uh, but we're, we're arriving to Shibuya right now. So even my stream earlier, it was not in Shibuya. Yeah, very fashionable, right? Yeah, there's a lot of youth, trendy young people here in their 20s and 30s. As I mentioned earlier, everyone probably has an Instagram account. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, Dombi. Yeah, Dombi, I think last time was with you. Yeah, that was January 2020. Okay, I'm sorry. It wasn't, it wasn't October 2019. For some reason, I thought I, I hung out with you before Danny. For some weird, odd reason. Okay, anyways. Uh, oh, sad, but this is good. Really enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, if you're just tuning in and you're like, what is happening? Uh, we, we had a stream going for about an hour and a half and then it got disconnected randomly. So this is actually the second stream continuing that first stream. And we started off at, um, we started off at Hie Shrine in Akasaka Sanno area, went to Aoyama Cemetery, visited Hachiko's grave, and now we're going to Shibuya Station to visit Hachiko's statue. And then after that, we're just going to wander around until we hit like the three hour mark. PBR, good old Wisconsin beer. Yeah. So I, I have pictures of me as a baby drinking PBR. My dad's from Chicago. We used to live in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, we're pretty much like in Shibuya right now, but we're not near the, um, 
the scramble, Shibuya scramble, the big crosswalk. We're, we're almost there though. Random bot hackers? Uh, I don't think so. It's more of a, whenever my stream gets disconnected, it's more of like a signal issue. Like I was inside of a building or I was too close to like a low reception area and then the stream gets disconnected. So that's pretty much what happened. Yeah, cheeseheads. It's pack, Packer cheesehead country. <clears throat> so, um, the last time that we were here, Donby, back in January 2020, like literally over a year ago, this was all under construction right here. There, there used to be a skate park up here, and now it's, it's like this elevated park area. Let's, let's try to go visit that. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, I, I think we gotta go up these stairs. Okay. Yeah, Chicago in the chat. Shot town, windy city. Woo woo. Cubby, I'm a cubby. I have been a Cubby since I was a baby. I have pictures to prove it. Wearing Chicago Cubs hats and jerseys and stuff. My dad's from Chicago. Got a rep. Represent. Yeah, so this, this is all new. This was not open one year ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, it's coach, treats, kith. Seems kind of like trendy shopping here. But I'm trying to get to the top, which is a, a, a park. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania here, ever been? Um, I've never been to Pittsburgh. I've been around the Pennsylvania Turnpike area, but not Pittsburgh. I've been to Philly. We've been friends for a year now, right? Well, I think it's a little bit longer than that. Because we met online first, and then we met up in person. Never quite can win. Well, I mean, the Chicago Cubs won the World Series a few years ago, so they did win. <laughs> I wish I was there. My cousins were there at Wrigley Field. They were outside partying. So this is a kind of huge thing here. And uh, yeah, Miyashita Park. And so this was uh, uh, completed recently. They uh, anticipated the Tokyo Olympics. So this is going to be like a nice space to connect some of the buildings uh, to the train station. You can actually hear the train line like just below to the right. Yeah, this is where the skate park used to be. And then they completely renovated this place. Yeah, it's not so green right now. It's kind of uh, dead. But they do have it roped off and they tell you not to go into the grass. But look at this, there's a Starbucks here. Like it's just all like swankified for the Olympics. Uh, was it in April you got to Japan this time? Yeah, Sandra, yeah, 2019. April, April 10th, 2019. <laughs> yeah, so, um, it's, I've never been here before, but, uh, this is kind of what I was expecting, just like, uh, you know, it's a public space for people to hang out and just like drink coffee or chill.
Uh, I kind of wish they kept the street, uh, the skate park. Did they? Oh, they have the park area. There's a volleyball area here. Yeah, you can see there's uh, some of the different buildings here. Uh, Hikari Q, and uh, I think that's the Shibuya Scramble building right there. Can we see some, some Top Gun sand beach volleyball action here? Iceman and Maverick high-fiving and showing off their pecs. If you ever end up here, Randy Land and Color Park are really nice. Where is that? Oh, they do have the skate park. Oh, there's a rock wall here too. Am I near the Supreme store? I did not know that. Yeah, so it looks like they kept the, the street park or maybe they redesigned it. Oh, it's in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be in Pittsburgh anytime soon. <laughs> but uh, if I am, I'll, I'll check that out. 120 watching now. Nice. We're getting back to uh, previous figures before we got disconnected. Oh, they got a nice bowl here. Yeah, this looks fun. I would skate this. This looks great. I wish I had a skateboard. I would totally skate this. He's the only one here. Nice, he's got this whole bowl to himself. Free? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, I think it's free. You just have to wear a helmet, uh, mask, and stuff. So yeah, right here, there's Tokyo and all this stuff. Let's go check it out. You thought he was about to caveman, oh man. That'd have been kind of funny. Yeah, so right here, this is uh, the JR Yamanote track, the, the, the inner circle line of Tokyo. So this, this loop, the JR Yamanote is the loop around Tokyo. It's the best way to commute around central Tokyo area. Are we buffering? Oh man, I hope we don't disconnect. Please don't disconnect. There's a little famous alley here. A lot of people take street photos here at nighttime. Gets all lit up. But yeah, let's go. Let's go over to uh, Shibuya Station. Hopefully, we don't disconnect here. If we do, I am so sorry. There's a skate shop right here. Do you even need a car? No, not really. No. In Tokyo, no, you, you don't need a car. You're doing okay, Ben? Nice. Hey, what's up, Barry Bonds in the house? <laughs> Yeah, sorry if there's any buffering issues or anything like that. Uh, that. That's why I can't stream inside of buildings or underground or anything like that. It's because of that. The, the signal gets wonked out and then sometimes the stream disconnects. So I do apologize for any kind of buffering.
Yeah, so this area, um, at nighttime, there's a lot of little uh, bars here and stuff. There's some uh, okonomiyaki at the end here. But uh, at nighttime, there's the lanterns that glow. And so it's like a very kind of uh, like street alley, street photo spot. Yeah, lots of street, street art, street graffiti, stickers, tags, stencil work, that kind of stuff. You can see that like all over the place here. I, I, I love it too. I, I love street art in cities. It, it definitely livens up the place. Yeah, Noi, I've seen your photos in this alley. If you guys want to, like I, I mentioned earlier, Noi is a photographer. You should check out his channel, but also check out his Instagram and his Twitter. Uh, you can see his ni amazing night photos from this alley. This is the Okonomiyaki place. Monzayaki Okonomiyaki. So here's the Shibuya Scramble Square building. You can see it's all like high tech. That's Shibuya Station straight ahead. This is all like, oh god, it's all like high-tech, modern-looking. Um, we're gonna go over here to the scramble. Uh, you can get in trouble for graffiti, but um, like most people who do art or graffiti, you just get away with it. <laughs> I used to do that for years as well. I was a street artist for many, many years. I started here in Japan when I was young. So yeah, as long as you don't get caught, you're good. Uh, do I use Clubhouse? No, I have Android. I, 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 I can't wait till it gets to Android though. I do want to, uh, I want to join, but uh, it's only for Apple right now. For iOS, I mean. So yeah, this is the Shibuya Scramble right now. We're outside of Shibuya Station, right across the street. I'm gonna cross the street and uh, show you what this looks like from over there. This side I'm facing the sun, so it's not so great. Uh, Kathy, you gotta go. Hey, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out with us, Kathy. Have a good night. Okay, so let's take a look. This is the famous Shibuya Scramble Crosswalk, the busiest crosswalk in the world. Uh, there's still a lot of people, but not as much people as uh, like the weekend and um, before the pandemic. I'm still here. Yeah, this is the most, this is the busiest crosswalk in the world. The view from the Starbucks, yeah, that's a premium spot to like look down and check out the crosswalk. Um, there's there's some other places around here where you can get a nice view, like up there in that building, you get a kind of a nice view. And then uh, I know you can't see it because of the tree, but there's the Hikari Q building, which also has a nice view. <laughs> Donby, yeah, this is the Han chase scene in uh, yeah Tokyo Drift. This is where he dies, right? Yeah, Pixel, I was here with my moderator, Danielle, and her friends. We were here that day, 2019, Halloween. Yeah, the 109 building, um, we'll, we'll, go, we'll go that direction after we check out Hachiko. Hachiko's statue is... Right after we watch people cross the street here.
How many people are watching right now? On my, my app says 30. I know it's like 130, right? Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for the update. Yeah, so uh, that's it. <laughs> I guess that's it. It's it, At nighttime, it's way crazier. And then, of course, on the weekends, it's like absolutely bonkers. But uh, if you guys are curious and seeing what this looks like at any time, there's actually live webcams here. They're, they have uh, multiple webcams around this area. And so you can always just like Google it and tune in and see what it looks like at different times of the day. Okay, let's go, uh, let's go visit Hachiko. Uh, it's always packed. Even during the state of emergency, yeah, it's packed. Especially at night. Yeah, even with COVID, exactly. Look at all these people. This is nothing compared to in the evening. This is very, very light right now. But uh, right over here, off to the side of Hachiko exit, is the Hachiko statue. Yeah, so you can see here... This is the, the statue of the dogs uh, that we visited today at the grave, Hachiko's grave, earlier. Now we're at Hachiko's statue. So, very cute, very famous, super, super famous. Yeah, the best boy. Let's get some hearts in chat. Hearts in chat for uh, the best boy. We visited his grave, gave him some tea. Now we're seeing his statue. Photobomb people? Yeah, I should, huh? <laughs> yeah, doggy love. Yeah, so because of Hachiko being so famous, they named uh, this exit right here, this exit on this side of Shibuya Station um, is known as the Hachiko exit. Yeah, so let's uh, let's cross. Let's go explore a little bit. Can someone tell me how long? Oh, look at this. Hold on. This lady is saying that uh, COVID nineteen is a lie. Mask wa doko? Mask wa doko? Nande? Nande? She believes this is a lie. She says it's a lie. It's not a lie, you're gonna die. What an idiot. So there's uh, non-maskers here in Japan. They like to say that uh, COVID is fake, that masks. They, this is so stupid. <laughs> She's yelling at people. Yeah, the earth is flat, right? <laughs> Japanese Karen. Yeah, what a moron. But uh, yeah, anyways, let's let's keep moving. Yeah, definitely don't want to touch her. Super cringe. I asked her why, like, where's her mask? I was like, why, why don't you wear a mask? <laughs> and she's like, I don't need a mask. Masks are a lie. <laughs> I was like, it's what the fuck? Masks are a lie. COVID-19 is a lie. What? Yeah, lost in the curve. That's true. If you ever get lost and you tell people to meet at Hachiko statue, it's one of the most famous meeting spots in Tokyo. People always meet up. Yeah, the cake is a lie. <laughs> exactly. 
What does the blue billboard with the lady in the red dress say? Blue billboard with lady in red dress. Where, there? That? What does it say, the end? It says, what does that say? I, I not, the end? I think it's a, it's an artist. It's a singer, it's like album drop. The DHC thing is just a, a TV screen. Yeah, so for the most part, um, most people wear masks, as you can see walking around here. You can see everyone's got a mask. But then, of course, just like other countries, there are people who believe that masks are uh, going to kill you, or they believe that COVID is fake. Um, yeah, there's stupid people everywhere around the world, and uh, even here in wonderful Tokyo, as we, as we saw just now, there's a complete idiot telling people that uh, COVID-19 is a lie. So yeah, here's uh, the famous uh, 109 building. There's a lot of uh, youth fashion inside of that building. So uh, now, now that we've accomplished the three things that I wanted to do during today's stream, now I don't know where to go. <laughs> should we, should I go straight? Should I go down, uh, should I go, okay, uh, let's, let's try to figure out a, a number system here. So press one in chat to go this way. One, two, or three. Okay, one, two, or three. Let me know in chat. One, two, or three. Where should we go? Where, where should we go today? We're, we're going to start winging it right now. This is freestyle. Freestyle stream. Two, two, three. Oh, I got a lot of threes. One, two, three. <laughs> I think three's the winner. Three's the winner. Yeah, I, I saw a lot of threes. I still see a lot of threes. Oh, wait. Yeah, I, I think three is the clear winner. Two is close, but three is like way more. So yeah, three is this little alley over here. And that connects over into uh, this little back street area. A lot of restaurants and stuff. But uh, let me just kind of look around here. Like this is, this is Tokyo right now live. Two, then one, then three. <laughs> Two, one, three. LBC. Nice, Jason. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. We're going down number three, which is this little alley. Shibuya! It's even got a little arrow that tells you where to go. Can someone fact check three as the winner? I'm just gonna go off with my visual, visual uh, memory. Just as as the numbers scrolled across the screen, I just saw a lot of threes. I saw a lot of twos, some ones, but most were three. Oh man, it got dark. Uh, Maritas, you gotta go. Hey, take it easy. Thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it as always. Please stay safe, stay healthy. Moist Fam likes it in the back. We do. Definitely. So, yeah, there's there's people. There's definitely people here, but not so many. Like, uh, I can maintain a nice social distance, you know, like, around here. There's uh, not so many people, which is good. Nothing to fear but fear itself. That's right. I wonder if we're going to get slagged for that song playing in the background. I'm surprised I haven't uh, had some copyright strikes from previous uh, streams where music's been playing. Korea streams, I got flagged all the time for K-pop. But Japan, I don't really get flagged. I don't know why.
You get it all the time, Noi? Yeah, it's so annoying. There's this uh, smoker's alley. This is a famous smoking spot back here. You can go back here, have a cigarette. Um, at the end of the night, usually there's just a ton of beer cans and cigarette butts back there. Yep, they got Wendy's, Burger King, uh, McDonald's. So a little photo shoot going on here. What is this building? What is that? It looks like a church. You woke up to 15 notifications of copyright strike? Good lord. That sucks. It's all like SM Entertainment and like those like YG or whatever. Man, it sucks. I hate, I hate those guys. Uh, Felicite, you gotta go. Hey, thanks so much for hanging out. Please have a great evening. Stay safe, stay healthy, okay? Stream challenge, photobomb people taking uh, fashion photos. Nah, I don't want to be that guy. That's, that's, I, like, if I was the photographer or model, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, dude, get out of my shit. I'm working. Is Burger King still doing the plant-based burger? Yes, they are. Yeah, me too. I, I don't know anything about K-pop. I'm half Korean and I lived in Korea for five years. I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know any songs by anybody. I know I know Psy, Gangnam Style, like, that's it. I know some group names, Super Junior, EXO, BTS, uh, is that it? <laughs> that's like the only three I can name off the top of my head. And I can't tell you a single song by any of them. Where's Kabukicho? Kabukicho is in Shinjuku, so that's like north of here, probably a 30-40 minute walk. So we are not near that area. How about Korean R&B? I didn't even know Korean R&B exists. <laughs> I, so like, I, I don't really follow new music at all. Like when, when I listen to music, I listen to like electronica, like drum and bass, that kind of stuff. Or I listen to like classic rock, 60s, 70s classic rock and 80s uh, hit mixes and stuff. That, like that uh, 90s, 90s hip hop, 90s alternative. 90s metal like uh, I, I'm old I'm a boomer okay I listen to boomer music <laughs> Korean trot music it's actually yeah trot, Korean trot music actually slaps I grew up with trot music playing it in the in the family van while we drive across Korea it's just like ingrained in my memory did a pigeon walk across the street like a boss? I missed it. So uh, let me let me go this way. What's what's down over here? Metallica, yes, it's the good stuff. Master, master. Is chill. I can't tell you a single city pop artist or song, but I, I like city pop just for how chill it is. Like, it's like good background music. Yeah, what do they call it in Japan? I forgot. It's a, it's not city pop. It's like, ah, uh, oh, what is it? It's like at the edge of my, the, the tip of my tongue. I can't think of what it is. So, um, yeah, Shibuya is a nice area to come for like people watching. You can see like interesting fashion or like some pretty like interesting looking people. You're a Gen Xer? Like technically I'm a millennial. I was born the first year of like millennials, 1981. But uh, yeah, I, I consider myself a Gen Xer because I... But I'm a millennial. I'm, even though I'm 39 years old, I'm a 39 year old millennial. Is that weird to say?
Uh, Azaria, yeah, welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad that you could be here live in Shibuya, Tokyo, Japan. Um, let's go wander down some random alleys. The body shop? Yeah, you can never escape the body shop. And you know, they're like, they sell Soylent Green products. It's all Soylent Green. And if you don't know what Soylent Green is, it's people. Uh, Gypsy, 1958 here, classic rock is my fave. Yeah. That's uh, just like whenever I'm working or I'm gaming, like playing WoW or something, like in the background, I, I listen to like classic rock. Um, sometimes uh, 90s, uh, like early, mid and late 90s hip hop. And uh, some alternative also, some metal. Just like, the, just those years, like the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, there's just like a lot of good music. Kind of feel like uh, after that, I don't know what happened to music. Really stopped caring. Um, if you end up walking in a random alley in America, you end up hearing boss music? You mean bass music or boss music? I don't know what boss music is. Bossa Nova? Uh, Tammy in the house. What's up, Tammy? It's freezing in PA. Yeah, I saw some photos of Pennsylvania earlier uh, yesterday. A lot of snow. Boss fight. <laughs> yeah, you go down the alley and all of a sudden it's like boss fight music. Uh, where are we going? I don't know, just zigzagging randomly. There's the, the Bape store. I didn't know that this was here. Go Ape! Bape! You can see the... Yeah, music went full corporate. Yeah, like, it's like MP3s and like all that stuff. Like, that's kind of the time when I stopped really following music. Like, I, I knew the music I liked at that point. You know, I was an adult, I was like 18, 19 years old, and I was like, okay, I know what I like, and I'm just going to stick to this. Yeah, MTV went downhill after 1999, I think. 98, 99. Then it just kind of was not so great. What am I, what is this? There's like a xenomorphs here. Whoa, whoa, can you see this? This, this place is called Jumanji. Jumanji 33. Is this is a club? Uh, Elizabeth, you gotta head out. Take it easy. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Have a good night. I think this is the club. There's like pictures of like some kind of dance floor and people are jumping up and down. Is this like a, te is this like techno? Electro or something? Like, I don't know. What kind of music is here? It's definitely a club, right? <clears throat> Yeah, it's uh, 1,500 yen for two drinks and entry. Yeah, do not play Jumanji. If you hear the drums, do not. Uh, yo, what's up, Sasha? I was wondering when you were going to tune into the stream. Super Spreader Club? Yeah, that's, that's the new name. Super Spreader Club 33. 33 deaths a week. Sorry, I don't mean to joke about that. It's not something to joke about. But at the same time, it kind of is. You think there are some club videos on YouTube? There might be. I don't know. I, that's not like content that I enjoy or would like even search. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Moon Moon, is this live? Yes, it is. Yeah. Are all clubs super spreader? They're only super spreader if someone grabs your ass cheeks and spreads them open. Then it's officially a super spreader event. 
Um, there's a milk tea over here. There's a Tokyo hands. I don't know what's like, I, I don't really come here, so I don't know what's around here. How cold today? Uh, now, maybe 10 degrees. Are you Korean? 아니에요, 미국 사람님요. 아, 어머니가 한국 사람이요. Yeah, humble, uh, half Korean, half American. Sorry, my Korean's all rusty as shit. I apologize. It's been like, when did I leave Korea? I left Korea 2017. So I, I don't really, I haven't really used Korean since then. Um, oh, look at these little kindergartners or first graders. They're so cute. With their matching backpacks with fluorescent yellow so you don't hit them. You agree about my opinion with music? Yeah, what's up, Aniel? How are you, by the way? How many languages do you speak? I only speak English. I speak English fluently, that's it. Uh, Japanese, not so fluent. Korean, less fluent than Japanese, if that makes sense. <laughs> Yo, Jessica, you finally made it. What's up? Yeah, moist fam in the house. Uh, Kento Kai, yes, I'm half Korean. My mother's from, my mother's Korean, my father's American. But I was born and raised in Japan. It's kind of a complicated life story that I repeat way too many times. <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, oh, I just tripped. Yeah, Donby, we ate over here. We had those soba noodles inside of this place right here. Japan kids seems to have big backpack every day. Yeah, I think so. At least you live in Japan. Yeah, I was in Vietnam for two years before here, and then Korea for five years before that. And then before Korea, I was uh, living in uh, Hawaii and Baltimore, DC, like the whole, I did the whole America thing for 13 years. No, thank you. 13 years was enough. I realized uh, after traveling and living all around America that uh, I don't like living in America. <laughs> it's not for me. It's nice to visit, it's nice to sightsee, but yeah, that's it. Uh, Fungus is back, what's up man? Christian, how are you? You had to take Spanish as second language in school? That's great. I wish, I wish I could speak Spanish. I had a lot of Mexican friends and Salvadorian friends when I lived in DC. And they taught me some Spanish, but I completely forgot, like, all of it. What's your favorite so far? Uh, that's a very tough question. I don't know. I don't know. Like, traveling-wise, uh, like, Italy was one of my most favorite countries ever. But living, um, I don't know. I'm from Japan, so I can't really, like, it, it feels like a cop-out to say, like, I love living in Japan, because this is where I'm from. But, uh, maybe Korea would be, like, number two. What time is it, uh, uh Amada? Amada Martinez? Uh, it is, what time is it? I don't know. It's 1.44. Oh, we're, we're, uh, we gotta end the stream in 15 minutes. Damn. I didn't realize that we're almost at three hours. Oh no, Donby, you timed out, Caitlin. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, Moon Moon, Ori es areo. Uh, Nick teacher who lives in Korea um, says, uh, which, which country do you want to retire in? I will stay in Korea forever. Uh, yeah, you're, are you married yet? <laughs> are you gonna get married in Korea? I forget. I think the, like, I think you were dating someone that's Korean. Anyways, um, where would I retire? I probably would retire here. And I would retire into the countryside, like, somewhere. I don't know where exactly, but just somewhere in the countryside. Let's, uh, okay, so I did three. I kinda did two. Let's go one. This way was one.
이번 목포. 아, 그래요? Yeah, Nick, you're married. Nice. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, 축하해요. I learned only how to greet in Korea when I was taking Taekwondo. Oh, nice. That's cool. Southwest? Yeah, maybe Kyushu. Maybe. Kyushu is, is really nice. I lived in Kyushu for four years during high school, so... It's, I, I like Kyushu a lot. There's a cool capsule hotel up here. I know there's a lot of love hotels over here. Here, I'm gonna go up this street. Okay, there's construction vehicle coming, but let's go up. I'm just randomly walking. Uh, Azaria, you gotta go. Hey, take it easy. Thank you for hanging out. Stay safe, stay healthy. From New Zealand, nice. Yeah, so... There's, uh, yeah, these are all like love hotels. Hotel Claire, please make yourself at home. All right, as soon as I walk in, I'm just gonna take off my pants and my clothes and be naked. Because that's what I do at home. Except for when it's cold, then I put on sweatpants. Okay. You don't understand basic Japanese? Oh, I understand basic Japanese. I, I just don't speak Japanese as well as I used to 20 years ago. So 20 years ago is about the time I stopped studying Japanese. And then uh, my family had moved to America. And so, um, yeah, so, so at that time is like when I kind of stopped studying. And I feel really bad because I forgot so much. Um, Taekwondo is regarded as kid sports <laughs> in Korea? Maybe. Yeah, it's kind of like an after-school activity, right? You need a fabulous lady to entice you first, though. Whoa, oh, okay. I, I, I can go by myself. <laughs> um, I thought most people go to love hotels to do things they can't easily do at home. That's true, yes. Um, a lot of people do live at home um, uh, before they get married and stuff. If so, like, that's why Korea and Japan has lots of love hotels. Because, uh, you know, try, imagine, like, bringing your girlfriend home and then you try to bang her. Or, you know, you bring your boyfriend home and you try to bang him. Or, or her or him or whatever. Anything you try to do in private, like, you're, and you have, like, your mom next to you. Or in the next room. Or grandma in the next room. And you're just like, oh, God, it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's why th these hotels exist. How did you learn Japanese? Uh, from school. Elementary school, junior high school, high school, we, uh, I took Japanese class. What does bang mean? Like in Korean, it means room. Or do you mean bang like, like, like in America, like, like bang! Bang! <laughs> I'm just gonna pa! I'm gonna pop your hymen out. No, okay, sorry. Uh, I was getting off, off uh, topic there. What does bang mean? I want to see, what, what do you guys think bang means? Bang them means to teach them the drums. That's so true. <laughs> Your dad walks in and says, are you winning, son? Oh my god. <laughs> I like that meme, by the way. Uh, are the walls soundproofed in love hotels? Uh, some are. From my experience, yeah, uh, they are. But there's some that aren't. Bang the energy. Yeah, okay. So here, uh, wait. Okay, there we go. We're, f we're focused. So there's more nightlife and stuff here. There's a lot of bars and... Did it, what did the con train conductor do to me? What do you think he did to me? Uh, what does it say? This is a CBD. Oh, I can buy CBD here. Four, Shibuya 420. And that uh, neon sign says, support your local girl gang. Marijuana, they sell rolling papers in a little machine there. I might check out, this is like a head shop. Even though weed is illegal in Japan, they, they sell some stuff here. It's probably CBD related only. Oh, you switched the laptop? Oh, okay. 
Yeah, so this is, um, yeah, this is all nightlife and like love hotels all around here. So let's see, I'm gonna end my stream in 10 minutes, guys, 10 minutes. What can we see in 10 minutes besides love hotels? Yeah, Caitlin, they say they still love you. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, finger bang bang you into my life. I forget how that South Park song goes. Wedgie and Mr. Miyagi nose grab. <laughs> Thomas says, I want to go to Japan so bad. Yeah, hopefully uh, all of this, you know, crazy COVID stuff ends and then we can, uh, people can start visiting uh, Japan again. Uh, I noticed this little alley over here. Let's go check out this alley. I've never been here before, but it looks kind of cool. The stink eye. Oh, when, it, when we saw that couple walk into the Love Hotel and I was streaming. Yeah, I probably exposed their affair. So, yeah, we've got some interesting little back alleys over here. This one seems particularly interesting. They've got these interesting lamp posts here. So I think at night this would be like a pretty nice photo. Skrillex Bangarang. I remember that song. Uh, Robert Podvin, long time no see. Yeah, it's been a while. Doing good, doing good. How about you? What's my favorite thing about Japan? Oh, that's a tough question. Probably the safety. Like, I could walk around anywhere and not worry about being shot or mugged. Yeah, here's another area where there's just like trash bag ripped open by cats or something and just got strewn about. But this alley is pretty dope. I like this alley. Banging is a form of study in the SUA, call Bible study and praying. Hard to the to the point the wall will the bang. I don't know what that means, Jessica. <laughs> Uh, what is this? Mad Croc energy drink. Yo, Island Girl. Aloha. How is it? Long time no see. See, there's a lot of places that just say, like, no, like, under 18, no. Under 18, no. These are all, like, like sex clubs or like escort clubs. Uh, wow. One day Corey will take us to a love hotel. I would like to. I really, really would. Um, let's see what's back this way. Well, these guys are measuring some crime scene or something. What is this? There's a little tuk-tuk. The tuk-tuk matches the color of the fence and the building. The building is it's like a salmon pink, salmon pink, salmon pink. What is going on? What is this? Yeah, live stream from a love hotel. We got to do that. We got to do that. I got to find a love hotel that has like good internet or something. What's back here? Oh, okay. We're scoping out this little back alley here. There's just, there's like graffiti on everything. Like, you know, there, there's like a washing machine that got tagged up. The, wa the water boiler got tagged up. Yeah, we're kind of in the more grungy area of Shibuya. Tuk Tuk Bang Mobile? Maybe, huh? Uh, there's some stairs here. We could. Uh, you could hop and climb over it, go up there, probably get a nice view of something on the roof. 
It's like Ghost in the Machine, is it? <laughs> yeah, this is uh, clean Tokyo. Clean Tokyo. I'm surprised we haven't seen like a condom on the ground back here. <laughs> There's a sign that says no graffiti. Do it for the stream? Nah. Nah, I'm okay. I, uh, as a streamer, as a YouTuber, I, I shouldn't be doing anything illegal on stream. And uh, yeah, I could lose my whole channel and be reported to the police and et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, try not to do that. Q&A from the Love Hotel. Yeah, that would be great. Jump up and down on the bed, drink some champagne. Well, uh, drink sparkling champagne since I don't drink alcohol. Surprised we haven't seen a body bag? Yeah, I'm surprised like like Yakuza haven't come out and told me to like get the hell out of here or something. Yeah, kind of seedy alley. This is uh, very interesting. You don't drink anymore? What the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I, I went sober 16 weeks ago. I uh, just quit. I don't want to drink anymore. I don't feel good drinking. Ah, so this little area is called Hyakken Dana. So I, I've seen this neon sign in people's photos before at nighttime. Noi, are you still in the chat? Have you seen this? I saw this in a photo recently, someone's night photo. I didn't know it was here. I quit, <laughs> I quit drinking alcohol. I drink tea, I drink water. Yeah, I, I used to uh, drink alcohol on stream, but yeah, I quit drinking 16 weeks ago after I turned 39. Then I was like, I made the decision. All right, stop in drinking. What well, part of Japan? This is uh, this is like a Shibuya area. Michael Jacko should have moonwalked down that alley. Maybe, eh? Yeah. So I I've seen this exact angle in someone's photo on Twitter recently. It was at night. It was of that yellow neon sign. Proud of me. Thank you, Caitlin. I appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm gonna try to wrap up the video here because, um, yeah, it's, we're, we're coming upon three hours. Club advertisement. Okay. Let me uh, let me cross the street and then we'll uh, try to wrap up the stream. Yeah, slumber party stream would be great. That would be super nice. Okay. What time is it? Okay. Yeah. It's uh, we're coming up on three hours. So, um, round, okay, so, uh, uh, watashi mo otcha ga daishiki desu, nice, nice cream cheese, me too, yeah. So guys, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you sticking around, all the super chat donations, all the questions and the comments. I am now blind because of the sun. Oh god. Okay. There we go. Much better. Yeah, so um, I appreciate all of you guys as always. Thank you, thank you. And um, I, I do apologize that the stream got cut into two different streams. Mahalo. Yeah, take it easy, Jason. It was nice to see you. Uh, everyone, please stay safe. Please wear a mask. COVID is not a lie as uh, that one lady over at the Shibuya station said. So, uh, hold on, I gotta, I gotta move. There's a car coming. 
It's a parking lot there. Yeah, so I hope you guys stay safe, stay healthy. Thank you for hanging out with me for such a long time today. Um, we'll be, I'll, I'll be streaming again next week. Make sure you follow my social media to stay up to date with my uh, like photos from daily life and things like that. So if you want to check it out, exclamation mark social media. And uh, it should pull up a, a link for all of my stuff. And uh, you know, if you guys want to donate through PayPal or coffee or uh, join my Patreon, get some exclusive behind the scene footage of my YouTube videos, check that out as, uh, as well. Um, yeah, so the goal is, yeah, exactly, Donby, thank you. Uh, the goal is to hit 100K this year. I think we're, we're getting closer and closer to 79,000 subscribers. Um, I'm trying to hit 80, 80,000 80, subscribers before, uh, by spring, springtime. And then hopefully, I don't know, at least 90,000 in the summer. We'll see, we'll see. So anyways, guys, as always, yeah, there's the link. You could see it in the chat. Much love. Appreciated. Thank you, thank you. From the bottom of my heart, always. It says 78.5. Okay, yeah, cool, nice. So we're, we're almost to 79. And then, uh, yeah, it's just going to keep going and going. But, uh, yeah, take it easy, guys. Please have a great week. I will see you next time. And, uh, yeah, see you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Aloha. Aloha. See you guys. Have a great day. Have a great night. Bye. 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 Bye-bye-bye. Bye. Stay moist.